but a lot of people that were come here couldn't because they didn't know about it. They made other commitments. Um, the futures thing. I don't know anybody in the coast ever heard about your operation, what you're trying to do, because I didn't see anybody's name on the list of people that were involved in it. There's three or four groups in the coast trying to do a similar thing over there. We're not talking to each other, and we're not coordinating. We're wasting time and money and effort on everything that's not available for any of us. There is no business lenders in this county. We have a couple banks that do business loans to people that don't need business loans, but we have, other than North Valley Bank that I haven't talked to yet, I know they do SBA loans, I don't know if they're aggressive. There's no bank in this area that do them, no credit union that is interested in business loans. There's a group of us in the coast that I'm working with that are talking and forming a new bank. We're trying to talk another bank to move the branching in the county that may be interested in doing business loans. We need to address that. There is no funds up here. Um, Tony's role, if he does nothing else, that position does nothing else but play a leadership role in directing all these little actors, these little pieces and these groups together, it would be a wonderful thing to have. Not having to do it all, but directing them so we're not stepping on each other's toes and applying for the same grants. And it's, it's just amazing how much of that goes on. Affordable housing. Of course, in the coast, we have the same issue. The city isn't interested in doing anything about it. Maybe the county is in some of the areas up there. Um, we have space, they say, inside the city that can be built on, but it's all owned by the old timers who have no interest in selling it. Columbus, Columbia family, and those kind of groups, they don't want to sell the property because they got to pay huge capital gain taxes on it, so they're just sitting on it. But, like you said, there's no reference to this bank I mean, what we talked about today. I mean, about 40% of the, the kids in elementary school in Fort Bragg are Hispanic. And they have parents and they need jobs and need housing and they need all this stuff. And that all has to be addressed as part of the overall plan. It's just one you, you can't develop without having workforce. And all the things that I heard about today with the grapes and the timber and all that, it's all about the Hispanic communities to dominate employee. And unless we're addressing issues in the Hispanic community, we're just shooting ourselves in the free people anyway. <laughs> Maybe an arm now or something. Uh, we did an economic conference up on the coast in 2004, 5, and 6, and we had a lot of focus on housing and some of these issues. And uh, we tried to bring the valley into it. And, and in 07, I had a lot of medical disability and I wasn't involved in it. And not a whole lot happened. But this year, we're going to, uh, we're putting together a, a lender's forum. We're planning on doing it on date tentatively to June 19th. We're going to have it in Ukiah, and we broadcast live to the coast and a couple other places where we have this interactive conversation. But we're going to have uh, someone from SBA, someone from uh, USDA, someone from ACD, and hopefully someone from the Federal Reserve Bank to come talk to us about lending practices, what they could encourage maybe lenders in this county to start doing, and especially focusing on renewable energy and green technology type of funding programs that they may have. Then in the afternoon, we're going to have lenders like here who specialize in SBA, USD, BNI loans, and ACD loans will actually be there where they can interact with people and do a presentation. And again, it'll be broadcast out to the remote communities. On the, your, your local TV access channel should be up and running by then. And it's going to be their first experiment of broadcasting something live throughout the county. We're hoping to have a place up in uh, down in Boonville and maybe one up further north somewhere where we can bring some other people into it. I want to thank you for having this conference. I hope you, the workshop. I hope you do have more because I think there's a lot of people that could add some information into it that you could have the opportunity to do here. Thanks. Thank you, Mr. Becker. Any additional members of the community want to speak? Okay. Back to the CEO's office. Okay. Thank okay. you. Sure. Just in terms of, of wrapping wrap this up. I want to be clear, this was not intended to be a conference because clearly it was not advertised in that way or, or anything else. It was intended to be a workshop and an opening discussion in a topic that we expect will receive more direction from the board on. I want to thank everyone for being here. I think that we've had a really good discussion and that it in fact has begun a dialogue that will continue to keep going. And uh, I have got a list that I will uh, be putting together and running past Tom of the items that the board indicated that they wanted to follow up on as well as some of the other issues and then we'll figure out where we go on it. So thank you very much. Is, 
is the communication with PG and E on that list? <laughs> Yes. <laughs> Between our two lists, I hope everybody is coming. Okay. So, so, okay. so okay. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. We just, we just have, I'm going to cut some sorry. finishing comments and we have the board chair will close us today. Uh, I went through a number of issues like I always do as, as the board is, uh, is talking about various things. And, but I'll run through my list kind of real fast. But, you know, David started us off today uh, talking about the RDA. RDAs do have an abysmal record in California. Um, David is correct as far as what they've done in housing. For the amount of money that has gone into RDAs, they, they do have an abysmal record of what they've accomplished. There's been a lot of uh, changes over the years because of that, but they have tremendous potential to do good things for housing and they have the ability to generate significant revenue that we can go through and do affordable housing. So um, I just want to clear up that, yeah, they've not performed as, as advertised in many ways, but that doesn't mean we shouldn't move forward with them. Economic development, I think we heard a number of times, and our office for the record agrees 100%, the dual role that we asked Tony Shaw to do in uh, the CEO's office uh, before my arrival, and unfortunately Tony left before I came, but we had passed Tony with doing um, CDBG, uh, RDA activities, economic development activities, uh, workforce development, uh, housing issues. Uh, he was not focused on true economic development. Our office realizes that in any recommendations we would have for true economic development, we've already that we will separate those issues as we're currently trying to do. Salary is an issue. The city of Ukiah pays more, I believe, for their economic development coordinator than the county does. So at some point, we have to have a dialogue about what is the work of the individuals who are out there. Tom talked about databases. I don't disagree. The county's website has a lot of things that you theoretically could punch the button and get it down, but there isn't a database out there. If you function properly, there should be GIS-driven databases where someone potentially looking at things that a county can go through there. Economic development, in my mind, until we get done with UVAP in general plan, there's a lot of issues out there that potential people that want to they want to partner with us, they can't tell where the opportunities are to partner until we finish that general plan and we finish the do that. Uh, the issues relating around technology, our office is on record that we're looking for a, a deputy CAO to concentrate on technology issues. The challenge is, again, it's a salary issue. We have been looking for probably eight to nine months with our IS division to find an IT manager We've not been successful after three recruitments to find an IT director. Our position pays more than the IT director, and we've been six months without successfully finding someone for the salary that they're offering. Those are real challenges out there. Getting the workforce to move here, I'm talking to my associates, is there are a lot of issues that are connected why people don't locate here and where it is they can find housing. Once again, the housing word community, they want to raise their children. We talk a lot about partnerships, but again, getting back to David's comment, there's a couple of elephants in the room, as we like to say. And David said it was the M word. Well, I think there's actually two M words that are going around in this county right now, and I think you have to address both of those M words. One of them relates to economic development, one of them relates to the overall health of the community. What I hear as a new member to the community, we hear all the time from employers that I run across is, well, you know, if I drug test, I can't find a single employee to go to work for me. So that gets back to the end of the original. The community at some point has to come to